Hey, it's Sean from PSI, and I'm here with the Skittles collector, Drew, who has all the E92s you'll see here. And we're going to kind of go through a walkthrough of how he found the cars, what the colors are, and what makes them so cool. And uh, why they're so expensive all of a sudden. Oh, thanks okay. to you. Yeah, forgot that. Right. Well, we might as well start over here with uh, one of the coolest, Lime Rock. What do you know about the Lime Rock? It's one of the cleanest. Um, we did PPIs on all the cars. This is one of the cleanest ones we had. And this is my favorite color, E92 M3. I had a fire orange one. If you go back to 13, we had one I ordered, waited tons of time for BMW to do it before the Lime Rocks came. So I have a you know, special place for this one. Um, I have a special place for this one too. I've told everybody in the previous videos that Santorini is my favorite, but this is now my favorite because you're only charging me $80. Okay. So it is perfect. my new favorite. Yeah, that's perfect. And then above it, we have the frozen blue, which is a special edition from BMW. Mm -hmm. How many of those are there, Drew? There are 72 of that car and it is not just a color. So some of the colors in here are individual colors only. And some of them are actual special edition cars. So the frozen blue, I think it was like a $14,000 ad. I've got the window sticker. I, yeah, so I it has special it stitching inside. Yeah, it's got the blue GTS stitching. Parts. That one doesn't have any GTS parts. The silver one does, which frozen is another silver. special edition. But this okay. is, uh, I mean, obviously you have the frozen blue. You've got the black wheels, the blue stitching. There's only 72 of them out there. Um, it is stunning. You know, I'm not a big frozen color in general myself. I know that there's a ton of people that are. And that one's getting a ton of notoriety. Yeah, and those are special edition cars from BMW. Lime Rock Edition and then Frozen Blue. Right. And then these two yellow cars are individual customers ordered those. They're not special edition from BMW, so they're more like a general you know, E92 M3. Right. The car is one of 23, I believe, in North America, if I can remember my numbers accurately. That one's only got 28 or 29,000 miles on it. It's very clean, uh, very well sorted. The guy's done some, the previous owner did some carbon stuff outside of the, the front uh, lip from M Performance. Yeah, so really, the, really nice. The car is like a heritage color because it's from the E36 M3. It's a love-hate color. People love it, some people hate it. I think it looks great on the E92. So you're a lover, not yeah, a hater. I like the speed better. Well, the I speed mean. is the, the most special in the group. It's a single hump, so a stripper model, uh, base seats, it, even though it does have heated seats, by the way. Um, it's got the carbon roof, manual transmission, and it only has 7,000 miles. And it is one of three that is the speed yellow from Porsche's paint to sample, as you know, and most people watching this would know. Yeah, so single Looks hump amazing. means no eye drive. So inside when you're driving, it's like an E46. There's no mm -hmm. screen, there's no nav, it's, it's base base, which right. is what makes it unique. Um, and it's timeless. Yeah, and there's no way you can get a G80 or an F80 with no screen. They're all standard. So, nice. Also one of my favorites because I think you're only charging me $1,500 in service on that one. So thank you very That's much. That's another low number yeah. Yeah, on that one. Winning. Yeah. Definitely winning. So moving on, these are two more special editions from BMW, right? Frozen silver, frozen black. Yeah, so the, the, these are actually both very, very unique the, for different reasons. The frozen silver is one of 40, and that is... It's like a, like a throwback to the GTS model. They, you have to assume they, they found the, the parts bin that had the leftover GTS parts in it. And they're all kind of just uh, peppered throughout the interior of the vehicle, which makes it really you know, unique. Yeah, so the it, color. Has the, it has the checker flag door sills. It has the GTS steering wheel. Mm -hmm. And has the, those actual parts. You I break. believe the wheels are the same as well as the GTS, which is, which is super cool. It just makes that unique. It's definitely a parts bin. They definitely had right. extra. Because I think there's only 136 GTSs that were made. So there's more of the parts on here. And then this mm -hmm. one has actually a modified exhaust, right? It has the Akrapovich exhaust. And the, one of the things that actually makes this the most unique is the interior. So they did two runs of frozen black. I think it was 74 total. The first run was a total of 20 of them. And they did uh, red stitching on them. Now, supposedly, the, the, all the articles I've read are they made 20 with red stitching, but they only released 19. BMW held one for whatever collection, whether it's North America or overseas or whatever. Um, but this is one that does have the red stitching. Yeah, and, and you know, I would argue the Akrapovich exhaust is, is the ultimate exhaust for this car. It was one of the first car exhausts that Akrapovich made was for this vehicle. I can remember when it was released back in the day. I actually had it on my uh, fire orange car. It just, it just makes the car. So this one's cool. That's already done. So that's something that doesn't have to be done once you were to buy the car. Right. 
And this it's really well sorted. They have a DCT tune on this as well. And it's just really ominous looking with the black wheels, the frozen black paint, the Akropovich. Sounds great, feels great. Yeah, this like one's it. already been PPF'd, I think, in the front, right? The Correct. hood and the, and the fenders and the bumper have been. That's really important to actually note. Um, the PPF is a stealth expel PPF, so it does add a different sheen to a frozen paint. So, like, if you look at it, you would think it has prior paint. It does not have prior paint. That is expel PPF, so the bumper is perfect, the hood's perfect, the fenders are perfect. Um, everything on that car is absolutely fantastic. It's really well sorted. Now, this is possibly the most popular of all the comments that we've had so far. Yeah, the it's Java. The Java, I mean, it's just, it's a banger of a color. Uh, shows great outside, shows great inside. Um, obviously, it's a very subtle color too. You can tell from looking at it, you can barely even tell it exists. Um, it's so <laughs> subdued. I mean, it's cool, yeah. it has a lot of heavy metallic in it. It's probably one of BMW's most metallic colors, I would say, it's really popular. People get five series, seven series in this. Um, above it is a Phoenix yellow. Mm -hmm. which is another heritage color from E46 M3s, mm -hmm. which you know was the launch color. And actually when I did my E46 M3, I ordered this color originally, and then I saw it, and then I changed my order because I didn't like the color. Um, because when they advertised it, it looked like it was super bright yellow, and it wasn't. So It's gold. Yeah, so there's yeah. a couple cars we built at the shop yeah. that it's Phoenix, it's really a neat color, it's really period, and it really shines through on the E92. I mean, I think the body of the E92 is the, is the most beautiful body of all the cars really that BMW has made in, I mean, our era and guys our age. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, early 30s, <laughs> Yeah, early, early 30s. Right. I mean, this yeah. is the car that everyone wanted. This was the car when I started the shop in 08. These are the cars we instantly modified. I mean, there's so many of these. And really, this is a, I mean, this is a great collection. I, you know, I'm, luck, of, I'm lucky to car. be able to see it. We get to work on these cars. You know, we went through and we did PPIs on all of them, establishing what needed to be done for the recon because Drew, I mean, you can go into that. I mean, Drew sells a lot of these cars yeah. and he wants to recon them before customers buy them. Correct. So we, we PPI'd, which is a pre-purchase inspection. All of these told him everything that was wrong um, with each individual one. And then we're going to go through them and we'll put all that up on the, on the auction, yeah. right? So it's going to be on PCAR on the... 15th, I believe. Brent, is that accurate? Uh, yeah. 15th. So the 15th of March, they're going to go on pcarmarket.com. For anybody that has purchased a car from me, understands and they get like my psycho mentality, I need to make sure that the cars are as well sorted as they can be prior to me letting them go. Reputation for myself is very important. So when I hand over a car, whether it's 10 grand or uh, half a million dollars, I want to make sure it's perfect, not only with the paint, but the drivetrain, just the uh, overall drivability or the collectability of the car, depending on what it is. Yeah. So we are missing a car because of this. It is the Santorini Blue. There's a ninth, which Santorini Blue has uh, 22, I think, in North America. It is now actually, in all reality, it is my new favorite car. It's amazing. We just ordered a, a G80 yep. in Santorini Blue Santorini. competition. Yep. Um, but it's at his shop. It's getting some work done, just like all of these have had. Uh, some of them will be going into the shop next week. And if you're you know, one of the ones that are going to bid and buy, these cars, you need to understand they're going to be as close to perfection um, as any car will be um, in the, in the yeah, so, I mean, world. We went through the cars. We're doing all genuine parts from BMW, which is a little bit, we have to wait for those parts coming directly from BMW. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they're going to be exactly the way they came off the showroom floor. You know, this is a labor of love for me. This is my whole life doing this stuff. Mm -hmm. I've done it since day one. So, you know, I feel excited to do it. And um, it's an exciting program. All right, so if you have any questions on any of the cars individually or as a group, hit me up on Instagram at Drew Leslie. If you have any questions uh, for Sean, hit him up at Precision Sport, uh, or you can just call him at PSI at the yeah, shop. You can call me and we'll go through everything we did on these. And if you have an E92 M3 that you need to get serviced, we can look at it. I can answer any questions over the phone. Just call me at the shop. And the auctions will start on the 15th, two days of pre-listing. The 17th is when you can start bidding and it's a seven day auction. Good luck, happy bidding, and uh, Skittles.